hands. To shake with, or nose to look down with. So we're gonna have to find another way. See, what you'll find is, even though you're no longer in your body, your body's still inside of you, if that makes any sense. So if you understand what I'm saying, um, blink over my hand here. Ooh, well, look at that. You're a blinking genius. <laughs> yeah, I knew you were special. You see all them poor souls down there, lost in the waves? I didn't choose any of them. I chose you. See, I, I just sometimes get a sort of a, a hunch, or what's a better word? Notion? No, there's a better word than that. Ah! Print. A premonition when a soul's worth pulling up. Now you see that tower out there? Big scary one? That's where I'm taking you to see the gatekeeper. To be judged. I'm gonna present your case. Tell her the whole story of your entire life from prow to stir. Now if she's impressed, I get paid the big coin and you get yourself a spot in her magnificent city. If she ain't, well, I eat seagull for dinner again, and uh, you, well, <laughs> we don't have to worry about that, because I am the best orator you'll find on these sickly waters. Class A storyteller, believe you me. <laughs> oh, shut up, you trash birds. You had your chances. It wasn't my fault you were no good. Layabouts. Unsatisfactory. Clock watchers. I got some words for you. Sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> so sure, maybe I'm not the most verbose storyteller out there, but I know how to spin a yarn if I'm given something to work with. And that's where you come in. Your life. You're gonna show it to me. I want to see exactly what made you so absolutely great. So, just think back to the very beginning. The first thing that you can remember. I'm going to send you there. But understand, no matter how much you like it, you're not going to be able to stay, all right? Every time you blink, you're going to jump forward in time. Could be a second, could be five years. That's just how this thing works. Alrighty then. I hope he's ready for this. Now, the next time that you blink, I'm gonna send you back. Now don't be afraid, and don't try to f And just try to enjoy it this time. Look at that sun. We've got a long, beautiful day ahead of us. Why are you smiling like that? Go get you some seashells. What do you say? You see that big spiky plant over there? That's called Nagave. The day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, 
days have a tendency to do that, I guess. Now, where's the first page of my piece? I can't find it anywhere. Did I put it? Okay. Go ahead, kid. <laughs> Look at that! There's your little hand. We have to make him do this every birthday. <laughs> That's a great idea. Don't you? <laughs> Sounds good, honey! I'm sending it to my mentor next week. It has to be perfect. Well, sounds pretty perfect to me. Yeah, what do you like about it? What do I like about it? I like the music! I also like the person. Look at his little face. What do you think he's thinking about? Uh, I don't know. Probably solving the problems of the universe. So. No, it's not derivative. At least I didn't think it was. Do you think you could tell the other members of the selection committee what I just told you? Right. No, I'm sorry. I, I guess I just put a lot of expectation on this call. Okay, I understand. Thank you for considering my piece, John. It really means a lot. Sure, a little mess of color. You know, if you keep working at it, one day you'll be able to paint exactly. See? That used to be my piano. My dad gave it to me. He loved music.